right, so Minecraft Dungeons. This is a game that um, I hadn't really touched. I didn't know much about, uh, but it's on Game Pass. And it looked pretty cool. It looked kind of like a, you know, straight ahead uh, Diablo-esque, Diablo light, if you will. Uh, so I was interested in giving it a shot. And I have played thus far, I think all of 10 minutes of this game. <laughs> so really, really getting in. The, the weird thing so far about this game is that so far, it doesn't seem like there's any building. Like you're not, you're not, you're not really mining. You're not really crafting. It's just, it's just Diablo. Uh, but you know, it's, it is what it is, I guess. Let's see if I can turn down the uh, master volume here a little bit. It's coming in a little bit hot. Uh, but you know, it's pretty cool. The ability to just try these random games that otherwise I might not have had much of an interest in uh, with, with Game Pass. I can just check them out. Uh, I feel ready to continue my quest against the Arch Illager. Oh, okay. So there's just a big overworld here. Okay. This is... This is a thing. Um, view next. There's just a view next button. Oh, that's kind of nice. So there's like... It just pops you to sort of the next thing you should do. It's pretty cool. This is really just, it's a weird direction for the Minecraft series to go if you want to treat Minecraft as a series, which it, it kind of is now at this point, right? We have the Minecraft story mode. By the Arch Illager's this. decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers. Or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. Yeah, and then things get pretty dark. Just, you know, enslaving people. Nothing nothing weird like that. Uh, so in my, like, ten minutes with this game, I've learned thus far, uh, I have this, this firecracker, and if I press that, and then I shoot, it shoots really good. Uh, you know, which is cool. Otherwise, my shoot is just an arrow, which also seems very good. So thus far, um, you know, with the enemies that I'm facing, the firecracker seems very much like overkill. Uh, but yeah, they, you know, it, it's weird that the things that they've done to Minecraft um, that aren't just Minecraft, so the story mode and this, are like incredibly story focused like this is has this whole overarching story of what they're calling like the illager and uh, you know the, him becoming this like king deity ruler person um, because really you know in my mind minecraft sort of started this revolution of games where story didn't matter where they weren't about games so you know i think I think games had really gone through a period where they were very story heavy, um, and they they were really focused on the story they were telling. They were very movie like, and, and really kind of Minecraft was the thing that pushed those in the other direction. So it's interesting that when they're fleshing out the Minecraft world, they're they're going more to that story realm, um, which I guess to some degree makes sense. You know, it's like, what what's the thing that Minecraft doesn't do? How do you not step on Minecraft's toes? while still living in that world, and, and I guess you tell a story. Um, or you, you know, make Diablo, which they've done here. So this is cool, the bad guys can, can wear armor, just like in the game, I think it's pretty neat. I uh, got an achievement, I guess. That's a, that's a thing on Windows I always forget happens. Uh, Apple. Yeah, thus far this is, you know, it's, it's a it's a Diablo game. I like the guys from Burn. There's really no class, like, you're choosing when you start. Um, I chose, like, what my dude should look like. And I thought that he should look like this, I guess. There wasn't really a lot of good options. One option was just regular Steve, which didn't seem like a thing to, to pick. I don't know. It also seems like there's like a lot of areas like this where it's like, oh cool, I can go over here. Um, but thus, thus far, 
I'm not finding any branching paths other than like things like that. But this game does have a really cool look. I, I really, I think they've taken the Minecraft aesthetic um, and made it work in kind of an isometric game like this. It's, uh, it's pretty cool looking. Let's see if I can. Oh, I missed with my big archer dude. I think the villagers in Minecraft, you know, not to be uh, a hipster about Minecraft, but but when I was playing the majority of my Minecraft, villagers didn't exist. Um, they were added a lot later, so they're they're both they both feel very new to me still, despite the fact they've been in the game for literal years. But um, th they're they're creepy. They're really weird looking, and I find it especially weird that you have like a main character in the game, like Steve, th who looks normal, and then you have villagers who look like like terrifying monstrosities. I guess there's a reason to flesh out the story of Minecraft and explain why villagers look so weird. So that's a... <laughs> I'm a Minecraft hipster, yeah. Not to not to brag, but I was, you know, playing Minecraft uh, when it was in beta. Maybe alpha. I might have gotten into the alpha. I don't remember exactly when I bought Minecraft. And Minecraft gets a lot of flack now, really, for, you know, being uh, kid-focused, I guess. But, you know, it's a game that's that's been going on for a decade at this point. Uh, it's this institution. And and shockingly deep for, uh, for what it is. I'm not sure where I was supposed to be going. I think there was maybe a map I can pull up somewhere or something. Uh, let's see. Map is down. Oh, so it's... Okay, yeah. This is, I guess this is the first, like, branching path that doesn't really go anywhere, so that's cool. I'm glad they're fleshing this out. The game does seem pretty forgiving, too, with, uh, with the arrows and, and missing them. Seems to sort of, you know, curve your shots in the right direction as needed. Oh, secret area here. <laughs> right, yeah, Mojang. Uh, who would have thought, though? I mean, it's this game, like, it's an interesting concept of game, and I think from the very beginning people thought it was cool, but, like, it's written in Java. Like, the original version was, like, so incredibly, um, like, Im imprecise, like, required such like a massive computer to run at like any decent frame rate and stuff like it's such a thing that you look at that and, and go like this is a neat novelty but like it's not gonna go anywhere and then lo and behold it's the biggest game in the world oh i got a sword there are just so many things that are happening right now all seems good. I don't, I don't know. Um, at some point, this is also the problem with uh, with me playing Diablo. At some point, you just have to like you have to stop and like figure out what armor is better. And, and, and sometimes I'd rather just you know keep keep killing zombies. Yeah, Microsoft buying Minecraft, I think, was a really interesting turning point, of course, for Minecraft, but kind of for Microsoft, too. That was really the start of them um, changing up how, they, how they're operating, you know? And that's not just in a game sense. That's um, as a, a company as a whole, you know? They uh, started getting into, like, open source software and stuff as well. It, it, like, it... Um, it was the point of like the company transitioning away from like it, we only care about the things that we made, and we're gonna be these like slavish devotion to it. Uh, to you know, hey, other things are cool. We can we can support different platforms. We can we can give things away. 
And I think that's, I think that's made for a lot better Microsoft. I'm assuming that'll blow up if I get to it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like that could have gone very badly had I not learned how to throw that. I guess I'm outside again. Jeez, it's covered in skeletons here. Alright, let's see if we can not, uh, let's see, not that. How do I go to my inventory? Up. Go up. I'm level three, so I think I can, let's see. Oh, this is a sword by sword basis, I think. So like, hang on. So I have these enchantments. And I have to spend, yeah, I have an enchantment on this sword. I have to spend these little perk point things to add to it. But is it per sword? Like, should I just switch to this sword? It's 11 to 17, 10 to 16. So this sword's like vaguely better, but it's not upgraded. Huh, that seems like an odd choice to like, I have to spend perks on an item and then I get new items and I lose all the previous perks? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I can salvage one. No, I feel like this aspect of the game wasn't super explained thus far. I have a fishing rod though. What does this do? Uh, pulls the closest mob in range to your position, briefly stunning that enemy. Can I add that? Oh, I can add it different. Oh, it's an artifact. These are artifacts. That's what the game taught me the other day. And this is armor, which goes up here, apparently. And it also has, like, enchantments on it. My bow also has enchantments on it. There's just there's so many things in this game. All right, we're going to try to salvage this sword, I guess, even though it's better than my other one. Let's just see what that does. Oh, you just get money back. Okay. Might as well. Sure. So let's, let's maybe go... Oh, okay, I only have one of those little perky things right now, okay. But I can choose between these two. So 30% movement speed or 100% damage return. I like movement speed, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. And then, oops, I didn't mean to unequip that. I meant to put that right there. All right, slightly better than before. Let's try the fishing rod here. Oh, I missed. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, not that that's like hard to figure out, but the, um, the enchantment system there seems more complicated than I would have expected a Minecraft game to have. That's, uh, the direction I expected it to go. Shadow form. Oh, there's a cow. You can kill cows. Yeah, I have no sense that I'm going the right way here at all. I should probably look at the map. Let's probably do that. Um, this is yeah, kind of going over to nowhere here. Might as well go look at the end of it, though. Because there's a chest. Oh yeah. Got all kinds of stuff. I got an axe. Yeah, I think the I think the pickups are pretty cool. Like where I found like the TNT a second ago and stuff. It's, it's neat things. That's a dead end. So we gotta come back and go this whole other way over here, I guess. Yeah, this game apparently picks up quickly into the branching path stuff. Turn that back off for now. It's really hard to play like Diablo games, Diablo S games, and not play them just with the map on at all times. Oh, you could fall. Okay. Didn't realize that. Got creepered on real hard there. Ok, 
Gotta remember I have this fishing rod. I'm gonna try this fishing rod again. The game, oh, there's another creeper. Alright. So I'm probably not gonna fishing rod the creeper. That seems bad. See, like, why can't I chop this tree down? You know, it's Minecraft. Let me chop a tree. Like creepers in regular Minecraft. Kind of painful when they blow up on you. This is glowing. Seems good. Oh, yeah, I'm so fast. Whoops. I love that they included the animals and that they drop the meat sometimes. That's just, that's great. Another aspect of Minecraft that I feel like this game honestly could have benefited from, maybe it is, I don't, I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure if this is randomly generated or not. Which is, you know, big selling point of Minecraft. Uh, but yeah. Uh, fishing, is this an open world RPG? Uh, fishing for combat, more like. Yeah, I think, I think the fishing rod only, it's, it's all it is is a, uh, a scorpion hook. It's not actually, not actually used for anything else. That is pretty fun though. I guess you can just leave the firecracker like primed too, which is pretty cool. Right. I feel like that zombie was bothering that cow. I guess then I didn't kill the cow, so who am I to be on a high horse about? I'll be honest, I, I do feel bad when I kill the animals in, in regular Minecraft as well. It's uh it does make me feel bad. This feels like town? Alright. There's a spiders. Oh, there's spiders over there. I don't think I wanna go in there quite yet. It's... Or do I? Eh, I guess I do. Let's go check it out. Oh, supplies for days. It's a nice rug. It has a real good like Zelda feel to smashing those things. Like I can I can appreciate that. This is a nice home. Whoever whoever built this is like, you know, it's looking pretty good. Hopefully they didn't die to a spider. Man, I'm so not used to being able to fall from things. That's it feels so anti-Diablo. Oh, I thought that spider was still alive. It was not. Oh, I'm trapped. Luckily, I can still swing my sword. That was pretty cool. I, th I think I might find this game very charming. I think I might actually like this game a lot. Pretty terrifying place. This, is, this feels very un Minecraft. <laughs> so imagine game devs pitching a game or meeting on a game with publishers. This is great, but can we add a fishing mechanic? And the collective cringe comes from the other side of the table. Yeah, I feel like a lot of games have a, a tacked on fishing mechanic. I definitely have a soft spot for fishing, though. Like Animal Crossing fishing. Oh, it's, that's good stuff. It, it really, fishing too, like there's no way that you can do a fishing game um, 
I guess I guess a non like dedicated fishing game that isn't just the most simplistic mini game like on earth like on, on Animal Crossing it's literally just a timed button press that's the entirety of the fishing <laughs> there used to be a there used to be a fishing game I don't know what it was called it was on the PC and um, I think it, it was one of those games that like comes with your PC when you first get it like they used to like really do that back in the day, kind of when like home PCs were first becoming a thing. Uh, and this game was a fishing game, and it was like super simplistic, obviously. But you you'd pick like all your reels you needed and stuff. Like you'd pick your boat. Like it was it was all that kind of kind of thing. And then you get out and you try to catch the fish. And I distinctly remember as a kid when the fisherman wouldn't catch the fish. He would get upset and he'd say, damn it. And you'd hear this like digitized damn it that would play over the game. And as a eight year old, that was the coolest thing that I'd ever heard was this uh, computer character saying, damn it, it was the best. <laughs> Seems like, all right, let's, all right. So I've got three out of five of these villagers so far. Seems like there's a lot of these fools. I'm so fast, I'm so fast. I don't think, again, I haven't played a ton of like modern Minecraft, so I might be wrong. I don't think like those guys are in Minecraft right now, the like super fast zombies. Okay, I got all of the uh, villagers. Oh, and apparently triggered all of the bad guys. That guy seems like he doesn't have my best interest in mind, but he died, so. Seems like the exit's this way. Creeper. Got him. Sometimes the sometimes the things die and they seem like they're still alive. I don't know why that happens to some things and not others. Maybe it's just the creepers that wiggle their legs when they die. Yeah. No, that that did too. Okay. The game's just trying to freak me out. to 21, 11 to 17. That's a level 2 sword versus my level 1 sword here. Still, like, that's probably not better than the fire on that one. This one has a spin attack, which is pretty cool. Let's try out the axe for a bit. Let's see what that's like. Okay, spin attack seems neat. Are really cool. I like the I like this look. Uh oh. I definitely threw that in the wrong direction. That still worked out. Still worked out. The, uh, I like the stabby nature of the uh, of the sword. I like where I'll he'll thrust it forward if I'm running. 
These villages are free from the clasp of the Illagers. All thanks to you. I did it. Having a nice bang this evening. Bang is an energy drink. That is very good. I like bangs. Uh, it, I feel like liking energy drinks, though, really puts you in, like, a real weird crowd. So I think that they taste good, and I don't prescribe to the lifestyle. Boots of Swiftness. Boots blessed with enchantments to allow for swift movement. Useful in uncertain times such as these. Like COVID. Okay. they are my COVID boots. Oh, these guys are just here for me to beat up on? Nice. So... All right, so we, all right, blacksmith. What's he? What's he about? Oh, I can I can get random gear, appropriate for my level. Cost eighty though. I found a chest with fifty gems. Okay, that's just free money. I don't know what all is in this like overworld area, or if this is an overworld. Seems like it. I just feel like I should have been able to walk this far. Down into this nowhereville. Now I feel kind of trapped. Okay. Okay. It's also weird that the game lets you fall, but then doesn't have a jump. I guess regular Minecraft, though, I think now has the ability to, like, auto-jump. If you walk up to a ledge, I think they added that. So, I guess that's just a continuation of that feature. Come here. Oh, we're, we're doing some crops over there. Cool. Doesn't seem to actually do anything. Can't kill the pigs. I guess you just have a whole, whole village here. Can we see the map of the village? No, that's just this. Okay. What's in here? I don't like that walking into a door it says travel. I feel like that's gonna teleport me somewhere other than just inside the building. It's very confusing. Who is making creeper art over here? That's just, that's just sadistic. I can't get on board with that. So far this house in this area just seems unnecessary, but you know, figured I'd, I'd give it a shake. Uh, I haven't found any use for my money, so let's let's see if I can get an item. Let's. Oh, a crossbow. All right, well that's better than what we had before. So we can put the boots on down here. We'll do that, and let's put the crossbow here. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's try the crossbow out. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's some good stuff. Five new missions. Yeah, I like... So you can you can tackle them, I guess, in any order you want. Just let you bounce around. I like that it just has a next. Like, show me the next thing I have to do. <laughs> Recommended power, four. I'm not four. I'm three. I think I'll be okay. The Creepy Crypt. Is this the creepy crypt? Seems very creepy. As advertised. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I talked to Big Game about being okay with my under-leveling. But we've got some creepers. Let's lead some of these guys along. It feels real good to explode a creeper. There's just something visceral about getting to do to a creeper what a creeper does to everyone else. Really, when you think about creepers, how are there, like, like, what is the, what is the time it takes for a creeper from 
to be like to grow up from like birth to adulthood because creepers don't have a long life expectancy right i mean they're exploding themselves at a moment's notice like something looks their direction and they're just blowing it up it just doesn't seem like a thing that uh would lead to things making it to adulthood Is there like a whole creeper society? Are they very nihilistic? I'm just rolling around this TNT on my head. So I thought the TNT was gonna explode before when I was carrying it. It doesn't seem like that's the case. So it seems like you can just like, you can just hold it. until you want to use your arrows, at which point it no longer works because it is your arrow slot. And we continue. Uh-oh, uh-oh. dungeon crawling uh yeah we uh we talked about the overlays a little bit there I had, a, had a lot of fun putting the overlays together i really enjoy like tinkering with um oh i have health potions i had no idea i had a health potion uh i enjoy tinkering tinkering with like obs and overlays and stuff i think that's a lot of fun i think it uh you know it builds on my like, love of graphics and stuff like that and, like video editing even like kind of falls into that so it's, it's cool stuff. I like it. I like it. Uh, so that's been that's been fun to kind of tinker with and set up, and, and definitely something. Um, you know, I don't get to stream a ton, but it's still a fun thing to do. And uh, we hung these shelves behind me uh, just last night, so I could put some fun stuff on them. Get that going. Oh, actually, and I forgot. Now we're really in business. Thank you, yeah. That's, uh, they are sweet shelves, I agree. <laughs> oh no, what's OBS doing for you? I guess I should say, it's basically the same program. I've switched over to using uh, Streamlabs OBS recently. Uh, there's, it's a little bit nicer than regular OBS Studio. Uh, I think it's a fork of the exact same software, but um, the Streamlabs integration is is pretty nice um, for like alerts and stuff for the most part. Um, I like I like how some of that's built in a little bit nicer than just pure OBS. But yes, please please do tell on the the OBS woes. See, that feels like a thing. You know, you walk into a, a creepy creepy cave. Seems like a thing you shouldn't pull. Alright, this, this is getting a little serious over here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, this is actually a bit of a challenge. I'm enjoying this here. Let me run a little bit faster and get away. I took some damage. Alright. Hello. That was cool. I liked uh, I liked that level of challenge there. You've also switched to Streamlabs, uh, but only because OBS Studio has been having serious frame issues for me. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I, I hope that that's not going to be a thing for me here with Streamlabs. It, like, it seemed like it was trying to be at the beginning of this. Um, I might be I might be taxing uh, Streamlabs a little bit, too, with um, some of the uh, scenes and stuff that I've set up. So I might need to maybe trim down some of what I'm doing. Um, there are probably some things that I can turn on to say, like... Um, uh, 
uh, offload when you're not viewing it. I probably missed that on some of the things, so maybe that can help out. We'll see. Oh, I guess I have a an enchantment thing I can do. But I think most of the stuff I was looking at now takes two. So I might want to wait until I get a second one to enchant something else. appreciate that I can uh, sword through walls. That's pretty good. All right, let's see if I can kite some of these guys. Uh oh. Okay. Those guys are really bad at running away from that. that, that they should not have run in that direction. Leave the crypts. I picked up sword. So this is not the way out. No, this is a dead end. Okay. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I'm going to try to not fall through this now. This is, um, no, it's, we, we've already discussed this isn't strictly better Minecraft, because this, there's no mining, there's no crafting. Uh, well, I guess there's enchanting. That's, that's in Minecraft. Um, no, this is, uh, this is Minecraft Dungeons, which is Minecraft Diablo. That's 100%, like, this is an, an unashamed Diablo club. I have a lot of arrows stuck in me right now. That is, that is a problem. Yeah, not having any Minecraft story in the, yeah, it seems like a weird. Oh, dodge it. I am aware that the uh, actual exit is the other direction. Oh, get out of there. Oh, didn't see that that was a creeper. That is unfortunate. It's too bad. It's nice that the, uh, the health refill is uh is on a timer like you don't have to actually pick them up that's pretty cool that's what you get for trolling see yes you love diablo exactly uh but no this game actually seems pretty sweet like i'm enjoying it i hope that the like character it doesn't seem like there's as much upgrade and customization in the characters like diablo has but it seems like maybe that's all built into the items and like the item level up and stuff. So hopefully that stuff is like pretty interesting and fleshed out once you unlock more items. But as far as like gameplay goes, it seems um, very in line with Diablo. It's cool stuff. Oh yeah. This is 
a very ornate room. I feel like this is where sacrifices took place. I guess I should remember that I have, uh, I technically do have a limited number of arrows. I still have 78 of them. <laughs> it's not just, uh, it's not just free. Exit. Success! I left the crypts. Alright. I mean, I feel like I feel like I did that already, game. I left the crypts. But uh but yeah, so uh got the shelves up yesterday as I was saying. Um, you know, rearrange the room a little bit so we can do a streaming setup from the couch, which is, I think, really fun. It's always cool to have um, a, I guess, non, uh, you know, just computer chair uh, view of, of a streaming setup. And it's a bit more versatile. I can do different stuff. It doesn't always have to be just games here. Like, we can do, uh, you know, just, just talking and stuff like that. And I can have someone on the couch with me, um, which I think will be will be pretty cool. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the setup right now that I'm using uh, as far as, like, seeing chat is um, maybe not the best. I've, I've got uh, chat pulled up in a separate window over on the desk with the font blown up really big so I can read it from over here. <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, it's working out. Yeah, I, I had forgotten slash, you know, maybe I didn't super understand from the beginning. Uh, the... The, the chat rooms in Twitch are just IRC channels, which is interesting. Killing the cow dropped an apple. Maybe the cow was eating the apple, maybe, or maybe he already ate it and just hadn't digested it yet. And I'm eating like, I'm eating secondhand apple from a cow's stomach. Cause really, I mean that that's more realistic of the game, like. You don't kill a cow and he, he has this perfectly cooked steak that falls out. You, you kill a cow and you get, like, entrails. Whatever the cow had for lunch. Oh, so that guy can buff the other ones. Oh, wow, that's, like, that's a lot, too. Neat. That's cool. Yeah, those guys in a group would be very bad. Wait, we already went through here. Am I going the wrong way then? No, the game's telling me to go this way. Which stomach though? Yeah, didn't we? We talked about this recently. Cows have more than one stomach, but I don't remember how many they have. And it also could have been that I thought that they had multiple stomachs, but turns out they don't, and I'm just wrong, and I'm continuing to be wrong. Yeah, couch gaming is pretty great. I, I agree. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, as much as I love couch gaming so much, that's the reason I don't PC game as often, because, like, it's nice to be able to just to sit on the couch and, and take it easy. Obviously, a lot of the times, also, you know, like, time spent with family and stuff, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, something nice about just kick back on the couch. So, I think we got some cool stuff here. Let's, let's give it an old gander. Um... So better boots, definitely better boots. So that means we can salvage those boots. 
I don't think we're gonna use this random pickaxe, so let's salvage that. Okay, so this pickaxe has... Oh, wait, why does it already have an enchantment slot? Oh, it's just got two enchantment slots where this thing has one enchantment slot. I got it. I got it. So really, yeah, we need to replace swords then. That's that's what we're finding. We gotta we gotta pop this sword out for this one. It says an angry face. Wild rage. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the like where I'm seeing the game. So we have the monitor that's doing chat, which is over here, and it's on the desk. Uh, and then we have I have another monitor that swings out from the wall, so you can kind of I can use it with the desk when I'm sitting there, but we can swing it out, and I can see that on the TV, and then the camera's sitting on top of that. So um, yeah, it turned out to actually be a pretty cool setup here for for this type of, uh, of gaming. I say I still don't know the direction I go. So like level four. You only get, it seems like, one of those, like, enchantment things per level. And it seems like I really, like, blew it by putting it here. I wonder if I salvage, though. I wonder if I get that back. Let's try. I do. Okay, perfect. All right, that makes me feel a lot better now. Okay. This game is not quite as, uh, as punishing as I was thinking it was. This is worse than I have. This is worse than I have. So we'll salvage. We'll salvage. So, my crossbow's cool and all, but these things are better than my crossbow. Decisions, decisions. Actually, though, this one, let's see. Yeah, we'll do this. This one has the double enchantment slots. And then we'll enchant. Increase the chance for mobs to drop consumables. I think we do this one. <coughs> and then over here... Decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies. That's cool. I like that. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Double enchanted. Uh, we did that enchantment as well. I think the rest of this probably can just be salvaged. I don't think I need anything else here. That does 25 damage, though. Eh, you know, that's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Alright, maybe... What are its enchantments? Let's look at the enchantments first. So, those are okay. Those are okay. I guess I would pick stunning in that case. Anyway, I, I won't get rid of that yet, but we'll we'll not use it. Uh, the inventory management of an MMO with the graphical fidelity of Minecraft. Pretty much, yeah. And I'm like, I'm obsessive about things like this. So that's that's awesome, that good. All right, let's buy some random gear. A cutlass. It has a reliable combo. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't know what reliable combo is, but it is somewhat better than I'm rocking right now. It's rare, so obviously that seems cooler. Alright, fine. I'm gonna salvage this. Uh, let's, let's do that one more time just to see what we're gonna get here. Hunting bow. Okay. And again. Oh, new armor. Alright, so better armor than we have? No. It does other stuff, though. This is plus 12 health, 
10% arrows per bundle, plus 10 arrows per bundle, and 30% range damage. This is plus 20% weapon damage, boost aura, and 35% damage reduction. Yeah, I think the plus 1 health and plus 12 health, though. Which one looks cooler? That's the important part. Mm. I don't know. I like that my head's out on this one. We're going with that. Uh, this is faster, but kind of worse than what I've got now. Uh, Alright, we'll just go with the cutlass here. But we will enchant it. Prospector. Find more emeralds and fallen enemies. Leeching. So stealing health is pretty fun. Do stunning though. Might as well put all of our things into it, I guess. Oh, I only have one left. I can't do that. Never mind. Might as well put those in this bow then. Fuse shot. Every few shots has a timed charge that explodes one second after impact, dealing 100% of two damage to nearby enemies. That's cool. I like that. Alright, we did it. Soggy Swamp 2. I'm at the recommended power level for Soggy Swamp 2. A coven of wicked witches live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the Arch Illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the Illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. I hate the swamp in actual Minecraft, and here it's, it's also quite ugly. Oh, but look at this cutlass, though. Oh, now I'm over-leveled for this mission. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Whoa, it's a little zombie, little dude. Little dude running through. I don't think there's anything over here. No, nope, it's just a weird, random. No, nope, there's a uh, there's a whole thing. Oh, this is the way we came in, isn't it? That is, I think, yeah. Yep. All right, we'll go the other. We'll go the way the game wants us to go. Fine. Uh oh. I think the witches? I think we killed a couple witches there. It's not a house I can go in, apparently. Good to know, good to know. It's uh it's kinda creepy that they're like I mean are those are those baby zombies or are they just small? Are they sending their children out is what I'm what I'm trying to ask. Are they, uh, are they saying, hey, kid, why don't you go be the uh, sacrificial zombie? Go soften that dude up a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I feel like the slimes are just my friend. Like, they don't seem like they're bad guys. They don't seem that bad. I know there's like, you know, obviously perks and stuff 
that are gonna make it better along the way, and you're gonna have items that make it better, but the movement speed in this game feels very slow. Pick that up, run back. Oh, I threw it over there. It, it um, I always have to remember that you have to be pointing the stick in the direction that you want to throw, not just facing the direction you want to throw. Even my arrow that was exploding. Yeah, that, I think that's what it was. These guys just take a bunch of hits because they split and they split and they split. Well, that guy is uh, not going down as easy as I wanted him to. Forgetting about my cool artifacts that I have. Like my uh, firecracker I'm going to use next time I shoot. Which is there. And of course, my fishing rod. Can't forget the fishing rod, which I'll use now. And most important of all, the boots which let me run fast. there's any chance that uh, in these swamps there are multiple cauld cauldrons? The cauldron just seems so vague. Just gonna hit him. Oh my. Oh yeah, he, he hits real good. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh gosh. Oh no, no. Did I get? Oh. Holy cow. That was rough. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess just like Enderman in the regular game, those uh those guys are not to be trifled with. Also, of course, I'm bad at the game, but you know. I'm just I'm never certain how far those things are gonna throw. Just just launched it. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. There are lives? You only have you only have a certain number of lives? Who knew? Alright, I know 
you go that way. What's this? Strength potion. I'm just gonna critical path this. I guess I'm still going the wrong way though. Get out of here. We're getting close to level six. They're looking okay. Uh, is this? Which? Hello. goes back that way. We'll go back the correct way. And continuing. It's getting very dark. When things get dark, that's, that's when you know you find cauldrons, I guess. That was a beefy skeleton. He did not want to go down. Didn't want to go down at all. Uh, I range a little bit. But my fault, my fault. Oh, this is the end. I can't believe I didn't make it up that hill any farther. Apparently, I'm throwing this like a like a straight line rocket just right ahead. I picked up an vacation robe. Interesting. Level six. Man, I see these enchantment points getting kind of overwhelming as you level up. Like, you're going to have so many of them. You're going to get a new item. You're going to salvage your existing stuff. You're just going to be able to, like, drop all these points and everything. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, apparently, my daughter Hattie is, is watching the stream. Hi, Hattie. <laughs> she has no care for TV, but is loving this. Yeah, Hattie, Hattie doesn't, uh, doesn't get down with the cartoons. Not her thing. We don't try to make it her thing, but, you know, if it's on and she's, she's just not into it. But I guess, I guess her dad playing video games is, is a selling point. Camp, nice. Get some bread, and and not in the uh, in the rapper sense of making money. It's literally bread. That I'm getting. I'm not getting that bread. I'm getting that bread. Oh, hello, hello. Die, die, die. Run it away, run it away, run it away. I feel bad killing the baby zombies, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need I need like a line in the game to tell me that they're not babies. What is that? Oh! I almost didn't even see that down there. That was a lot of money. And I almost just passed right up. Looks like guys, get out of there. Run, 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 run. Wow, that is a lot of witches all together. I think I found the coven. Now what you got here is you got yourself a coven problem. And what they have is apparently a pathfinding problem as they got stuck in that corner. 
Running, running, running. Alright. Running this way. Oh, this feels very much like end of the level here. Oh, it's the Illager or something like that. Oh dear, all right. Oh, the Golem guys are new. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my goodness, all right, so this is a lot. Um, are they riding chickens? Yes, they're riding chickens, awesome. Good, that's good, that's good. Here we go, here we go. Alright, so I think we just need to like kite this around and then shoot some arrows into the center when I can. Something. There's those white marks on it. Or those are just checkpoints, I don't know. Look at me. Get a little, little bit bad over there. Run, 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 run. Health. Sometimes this game is not super obvious when you are uh, when you're taking damage. Hey, what's up, uh, Laserberg? How's it going? All right, I'm just gonna try to kite this around and get some more shots in with the arrows, I guess. Oh, that, I hate that guy. Oh, wow, there's bad stuff going on over here. Really just need to heal at this point. Long ways away from my heal being done. I guess not that long, but you know. Long enough. There it is. Alright. Let's see if we can get out of here. That guy's still flopping. Uh, I'm doing good. This boss is kicking my butt right now. Here we go. Here we go. Rolling through. I'm trying to like cheese this as much as I can here. Alright, I've got another shot here that I can hopefully get off. Ah, I missed. I missed. Running, 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 running. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get some health again real quick while we're here. Try to get some shots off towards the cauldron. All we can. Just swing by and get some hits in on the cauldron. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, that was terrible. I got a little overzealous. Okay, so the health stayed relatively the same then. That's, that's good. That's good. So at this point, let's do our firecracker. It really just likes to... Yeah, I definitely cannot do that. I gotta deal with some of these guys. Oh, oh that's good. TNT's gonna be good here. Yeah, that was effective. Freeze me up for some shots. Taking a lot of damage there, though. Yeah, the, uh... The firecracker shot's cool, but it hits the, uh, it hits the slime guys a lot. It's really hard to get back. Yeah, I do need to use the air. I agree. So get some 
openings here. Out of there. Running! much easier that whole time. I thought that that was going to be shooting over him. Something over here. Uh, new, new in the sense of playing Minecraft Dungeons? Yes, I am. Arch Villager's potion supply is no more, and it'll be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. Yeah, this is my first time really playing uh, playing this game at all. The Harvester. Siphons the souls of the dead before releasing them into a cluster hex of power. That seems cool. Oh, yeah, I think we need to, need to have that. You play it a lot. You play uh, Minecraft Dungeons a lot. So how's the, like, how's the end game? Like, when you are higher level you have a bunch of enchantment um enchantment points like is it is it cool is there a lot of like varied stuff you can do it seems like that would be the case um so that robe is way cooler plus it's a wizard robe look at that that's just neat I like that a lot okay so these are artifacts I'm not, like, the fishing pole's cool, but I'm really just, like, not using the fishing pole, so might as well replace that. Uh, we'll salvage this. Victory! Yes, I, I beat that guy. That was uh, harder than it probably should have been. We'll salvage that. Uh, we'll salvage that now at this point. This is a soul healer. Heals the most injured ally nearby, including yourself. So there's an extra heal. That's not bad, but... I think I like what else I have there better. Um, salvage. Let's we'll salvage that too. A glaive. So that's better than I'm currently rocking. We'll roll with a glaive for a bit. Salvage this. This is better than what I have there. Daggers. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of the fishing rod, so I don't have to think about it. And we'll get rid of this, too. We have all the money. So, we need to enchant some things. This thing... We have five enchantments. These cannot be enchanted. Okay. So, we will enchant this. Leeching or weakening. Uh, leeching seemed pretty cool, actually. That After that last fight. Like, if I want max power artifacts, it takes forever. Oh, interesting. But it does get boring if you're not playing with other people. That's fair. I, I tend to be these days a, uh, a solo gamer for the most part, just because, you know, time-wise and, and fitting around people's schedules and stuff, it's um, it's hard to do at times as, as uh, an adult with a child. But, yeah, hopefully with, with more... Uh, a frequent streaming, maybe once a week or so. That's something that I can set up and do more often, which I think would be pretty fun. Let me see what these are before I go back. I might actually do the second level up there. Uh, so deflect, 
And small chance to deflect incoming projectiles. 20%. That's actually not bad. Fire trail, 6 damage per second. And electrified deals 15 damage. Rolling zaps 3 nearby enemies with lightning bolts dealing damage. Doesn't say how often that that triggers, though. That seems cool. Unfortunately, there's, like, really no way to, like, like, I can't, I can't do away with this. So if I choose Electrified, I can't then unplug it and then try one of the others. So I'm, like, really locking in here. So maybe instead of, like, making a hard decision here, I'm just going to go dump stuff into Leeching. Because, you know, why not? Cost three. What do we have here? Oh, you heal. 30% chance to spawn a circular area that heals all allies. That seems fun. I like this. Let's do Wild Rage here. Uh, what is up? <laughs> Light lightning bolts, you say? More streams, you say? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, Shmiz, um So we, we're, we're trying a thing out this week um, where um, my wife and I are giving each other like essentially days off right instead of um both kind of handling like all the chores and like uh you know putting hattie to bed and stuff like that uh each night we are gonna take like one day a week that's sort of like the other person gets the evening off to um do what they want you know like do your do a hobby or uh sleep whatever it may be so uh today yeah is my is my day off so decided to spend it streaming uh, since that's the thing that I enjoy and don't get to do very often. So, uh, yeah, it, yeah, so far I think it's, it's been a success. We'll see, we'll see what she says after tonight, but, uh, her day off this week I think went well and it was fun, uh, just getting to hang out with Hattie, you know, just, um, it's her and dad, so if, uh, if we continue with that path, then yeah, I will definitely be streaming more often, um. Wow, I'm, I'm just over-leveled for these at this point, so I'm, I'm sure probably up the difficulty. Wow, it jumps from 4 to 10, though. Oh, wait, are those separate missions? I'm confused how this works. Oh, a secret mission. Find the secret location in a soggy swamp. Okay, so these are locations, and I have to beat these locations to get to unlock the next levels up. Anyway. Did you, I'm digging this plan. Yeah, me too. <laughs> sure, it's days off, but you're a parent now. Your next day off is scheduled, not scheduled for 20 years now. Uh, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I guess day off isn't fair. More like few hours off. <laughs> Uh, but it, you know, honestly, the um, the the few hours off plan has already paid off for me in spades, uh, because when my wife took her uh, few hours off on Tuesday, she used it to uh, bake cakes, and then I got to eat the cake. So, really, that was a win for me more than uh, more than her. She had to do all the work, and I just got the the benefit of it. You know, she enjoys cooking, and, and I, you know, <laughs> I don't get it, but I'm glad that she enjoys it. Let's we'll do these mines. We haven't been to the mines much yet. What time we're looking at here? 8.30, oh yeah. The unsettling good. rumblings in the mountains of the overworld. Whispered rumors say the villagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal, and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Oh, I love that I just look like a wizard now. A wizard with like a giant, just pointy stick. And I shoot in threes great. Everything's great. Oh, 
Oh, the mine carts. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it, it is it is very pilgrim like. Do the mine carts hurt me if they hit me? Yup. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad we learned that. I'm not sure that pilgrims had, you know, like festive colors. I think they were pretty much they, they wore black and that was it. The uh, the glaive that I'm rocking right now is a little slow. It's the only negative about the glaive. It is surprising in this game how often I forget to just follow the uh, the arrow that tells me where to go. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this game it, it never lets you get lost. You should you should probably pay attention to that. Oh no, now there are baby spiders in addition. Is that a spawner? What is that? Oh, I think it is. That's cool. I feel less bad for the baby spiders because I think spiders are pretty evil no matter no matter their age. But uh, zombies, you know, baby zombies probably didn't do anything wrong. I don't know. Supplies. Oh no, these poor villagers. <laughs> Get out of there, get out of there. Oh. I'm too slow, I'm too slow. Oh, I forgot I hadn't actually tried that. Uh, my uh, artifact there. Save them? Okay, yeah, I walk up to him and free him. That makes sense. <laughs> I think there was a dude then back here that I should have been freeing. Yep. Sorry, guy. Didn't realize what the objective there was. Remembering to get off the minecart track. Crisis. Alright, villagers. I feel like this should be like a we are you know, Spartacus or whatever that is, where I free the villagers and then they fight for me. They follow along, they join the militia. I don't I don't know that baby spiders aren't born evil. I mean, listen, they're spiders. Not to get political here, but the only good spider is a dead spider. That's not true. I actually don't mind spiders that much. Spiders are not that bad. Uh, it's snakes that we're talking about. Baby snakes, they're, they're the really cool. Oof. I could not roll out of the way in time of that. Really just gonna kill some time here until my, uh, until my potion's back so I can heal. There we go. So many creepers. What are those things? Do not want. Oh, yes. All right, I think, whoa. Oh, we can do 
a circle? Okay. All right. All right. Yikes. Let's try this. Yeah, hopefully that wolf armor is cool because uh, it looked cool. Guys, got him. All right. I was wondering if they were going to make TNT not explode when it was in the water, which would have been an interesting touch. Supplies. I like of all the chests in the game, for some reason they label that one supplies. Like, everything else is just, hey, you'll figure it out. You know, you, you break this thing, there's stuff inside. It's, it's how it works. That chest specifically is supplies. Every time. Or maybe spiders. We're hitting a point in level now where the creepers don't die in one hit, and I'm just not comfortable with that. As a reality. All right, we got another invoker. Let's see if we can wipe out some of the other guys here first. And then get our. That was a good hit. Good hit. Oh, I think he might be confused about where I am, or maybe I blew him up on the top thing. Oh, I broke the game. That was awesome. Yeah, I think my uh, explosion popped him up there and then he didn't know how to pathfind back to me. That was great. Alright, alright. So, villagers again here in this area. We gotta find them. There's one. There's one over here. Not that guy. You can't shoot up, apparently. Like, you can't aim your arrows up. Yeah, pro hacks. Uh, you didn't know you tuned into a pro Minecraft dungeon stream tonight, but here we are. My my pro tip for beating the enemy is breaking the game. If you could break the game, uh, you would find the game is much easier. There's still a villager over here that I didn't actually break free. Moving forward, which I think was this way. Yep. All right. This gate was closed a second ago. It's weird how you would kidnap enemies, but then tie the opening of your gate to freeing those enemies. It seems counterintuitive as far as as far as uh, evil hideouts go. It's a weird it's a weird unlocking mechanism you built in. Ah, I forgot my keys again. That's okay, just unlock five prisoners and it opens right up. I guess the, the wild rage that I picked out is cool. Except, in most cases, things are dying so fast that... Like, I'm setting things into a wild rage and then shooting them again and they're dying without actually doing any damage to their friends. So maybe wild rage is not the best enchantment. As long as you're generally killing things in one or two. 
Or maybe I should just be better at the game and not keep shooting the person that I just put into a wild rage. But let's be honest, that's never going to happen. I'm going to stay just as bad at the game as I am now. Is this another boss fight? Oh my gosh. Oh, I guess I shouldn't stand in lava, which is what I was just doing there. Great stuff. Oh, out of the lava. Out of the lava. What am I doing? Yep. Just right into the lava. Yeah. This is, that's, that, was, that was great. That was great. Okay, so when he hits, there's like a chance there to get some extra damage in, which is nice. There we go. Trying to get away, trying to get away. As long as I'm not uh, ridiculously bad at falling in lava. Yes, RIP. Welcome, Hawthornin. This way. Did it. If the rumors are true, the Illagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. I feel like the story of this game is just secretly Lord of the Rings. Or maybe the story to every game is just secretly Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure. Corrupted Beacon, the Corrupted Beacon holds immense power within. It waits for the moment to unleash its wrath. All right, back to camp. Uh, let's look at our stuff. Let's look at our stuff. So, fires a high power beam that continuously damages mobs. That seems cool. That seems cooler than uh, the firecracker, maybe? That seems okay. And we'll salvage that. Um, yep, that's pretty cool. So it's a lot more health. Health potions heal nearby allies. 100% weapon damage boost aura. Some cool stuff. Some cool stuff. I that did artifact cooldown, which was pretty nice. But I think the health difference is is a lot better here. Oh, and this is even better. But it's not as cool as wolf armor. Although you do have a candle in your head with this one, which is, you know, pretty good. I like that one of the one of the perks of this armor is that it gives you a pet bat. Like, like plus 43 health. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, gives you a pet bat. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> gives you a pet bat. I mean, that's pretty fun. So 43 health here is the thing we care about the most, probably. That's 38 health. The bat does anything. It doesn't actually say that the bat does anything. So this is regain a small amount of health when you activate artifacts. That's actually pretty cool. And fires a snowball at nearby enemy every few seconds. Briefly, so every five seconds, firing a snowball seems neat. Uh, armor with built-in friends? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, I agree. I think that the I think the built-in friends might be the way to go here. So let's look at enchantments. Potion Barrier, Explorer, for every 100 blocks explored on the map, you regain a small amount of health. That seems weird. Now this seems nice, because, you know, I take a lot of damage. Let's do that. And then... Yeah, I think that's what we got going on. Let's, let's go try out this... Uh, Oh, I can't do my, uh... I was hoping that I could try out my cool 
new artifact in the uh, in the overall here, but I can't. My bat kind of flies away. He just he just sort of runs around there behind me. I gotta say the candle on my head though, also very cool. I do like the candle on my head. All right, let's buy some stuff from the blacksmith. We got we got money to burn here, people. Great hammer. All right, that's fine. More armor. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Trick bow hits multiple targets. All right. So, oh, this is unique armor. Unique armor. So it's even more health. 100% longer roll cooldown. So it makes my roll cooldown worse? That seems bad. I mean, it doesn't just seem bad. It is bad. <laughs> so that's a good look. That's a good look. Uh, potion use boosts defense. What's the health difference? 44 to 43... I like the weapon damage boost aura, though. That seems good. Oh, I missed the 35% damage reduction here. That's that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then, then negating hits for 30%. Okay, yeah, I think we just have to go with that, unfortunately. Let's, um... Yeah. Yeah. Great hammer. Not good. We're gonna salvage it. This is... Not as good as we have. Salvage that, too. Oh, yeah. My guy looks like he's, uh, he's ready to be in Monty Python or something. All right. I think that might uh, do it for Minecraft dungeons here for us. We'll switch over. Let's see. Yeah, well, maybe we'll switch over and try something out on the Switch here uh, for a bit. So, jump over here. Mute the old game audio. Uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Good times here. Um, we will, uh, yeah, switch things over. So I'll go to a be right back screen and get that switched over hopefully pretty quickly and uh, get back with you guys. So go grab a drink, come back, and uh, we'll play some Switch. See ya.